Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Waves. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Studio Rack to instantly compare the sounds of your favorite Waves plugins. Now, if you wanted to compare, say, four different compressor plugins using traditional DAW workflows, you may struggle a bit. You could, of course, bypass a plugin, then click to enable another, but there's always a bit of a delay in doing it this way, which could distract your ear, making it difficult to truly A, B. Or you could, of course, have lots of duplicate tracks switching between them with solos. But neither of these approaches are particularly elegant. In short, it's quite difficult to compare plugins. Unless you use Studio Rack, let me show you how to set this up using the parallel split racks. Got a basic drum mix here that I'm going to be working with. I want to apply compression on the kick, snare, and the drum bus. And we're going to focus on the kick drum first. The compressors I want to compare are the CLA 2A, 3A, 76, and API 2500. I've got five racks here. The first being with no plugins in at all. This serves as my unprocessed reference kick drum. And you'll notice that all the racks are engaged at the top. So if I was to click play now, we'd be getting four lots of parallel compression mixed in with unprocessed. It's not what we want. I want to use this to compare. And to do this, we can just flick very easily between the racks by using the solo buttons down here. Now I've gone in and dialed in what I feel is a nice amount of compression for each compressor. And I've spent a little bit of time making sure that they're as close as possible in loudness so that one's not louder than the other which would trick my ears into thinking louder is better. So if you wanted to try this for yourself, I would recommend using the Waves WLM loudness meter so that you can match each rack in loudness as close as possible. So let's play the drums and have a listen to the kick drum, starting with rack one, which is unprocessed, and then we'll flick through each of the other racks to find which one of these compressors works best for this particular kick drum. Okay, the API 2500 sounds the most aggressive. And I'd say the CLA 2A kind of gives the most sustain. It's nice, I like the 76. That said though, I'd say the CLA 3A has a bit more sustain than the 2A. Yeah, it's a bit more immediate sounding. But I quite like the API 2500. It's got a nice click to it. So as you can see, it's just that simple to compare lots of different compressors in one go. Now we can go a step further with this. If I wanted a little bit more compression, we can dial in more compression globally by adjusting the input on Studio Rack. So that would drive the input into all of the compressors fairly equally in one hit. Let's give that a go. Just gonna give a little bit of a push and let's go through each of the racks and hear how the behaviors have changed across each of the compressors. Starting with the unprocessed rack one. Okay, CLA-3A sounded very sustained there. Almost like a floor tom. And the API, to my ears, just sounds even more aggressive. I can back this up a bit. I liked it how it was before. I'd say the API is the compressor I'd like to use on this kick drum. What I can do if I didn't want to have all these compressors going at once, I could always drag this API over here to the main plugin chain and turn off this parallel split or remove it altogether if I didn't need it anymore. Now let's run the same demonstration here, but on the snare drum this time, starting with unprocessed on rack one. OK, 
I'd say the API sounds too aggressive for this. CLA 2A sounds nice. But I think the 3A wins it. It's got a nice amount of crack and sustain. Now let's go another step further with this drum mix using this compression comparing technique that we're using Studio Rack for. If we head over to the drum submix, got the same sort of thing set up here on parallel split with some different compressors. Ones that lend themselves more to that glue-like compression that we love to use on drums. So H-Comp, the SSL bus compressor, the Prig Child compressor, and V-Comp. Again, let's run through this drum example, starting with unprocessed. Remember that this is going to be compressing the entire picture of the drums. Okay, H comp. It's really bringing out the bottom end there. The SSL just sounds a bit cleaner in comparison. I'd say the Quick Child sounds the most musical. And the V-Comp. Sounds quite aggressive. I like it. Yeah, you can just hear when we go to the unprocessed rack, it's not got that glue-like effect. All one between H-Comp and V-Comp. V-Comp it is, that sounds very nice indeed. Now, I've shown you how you can use Studio Rack here to compare different compressors, but you don't need to just compare compressors. You can compare different types of saturation. You can compare four of the same plugins or more, all with different presets, or you could compare different reverbs. So I've got this effects return set up here on a stereo aux on the snare drum. I've got a bus sensor, this effects return. I've got an instance of Studio Rack here, parallel split three different reverbs. Got the Abbey Road Chambers, the Abbey Road Plates, and H Reverb. And I'm uncertain what type of reverb to use on this snare. So I've got some level sent across that effects return. Let's flick through these different reverbs, hear which one sounds the best for this drum mix, starting with Abbey Road Chambers. Bring the level down a touch. Go back around that again. Let's bring the level up ever so slightly on that chamber. Just sounds a bit quieter in comparison to the others. I think the plate works best, so we'll use that. Anyway, I hope you guys got something from that. For more information on Studio Rack, be sure to click that card at the top right of the screen. Grab yourself a free copy if you haven't got it already. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Dan from Waves, and I'll see you again soon. Peace.